Well, hello, and a good Thursday morning to you. Welcome back here, DSA Death Andy 589 with you in NBA 2K16, my career, uh, back with uh, continuing the playoffs of year three, and of course we're going to begin the NBA Finals with the surprise team, the Phoenix Suns. Uh, <clears throat> I was pretty much it's figuring that I'd be facing the Golden show. State Warriors in this, but Phoenix Suns, through the one random generation, the on managed Sports, to Johnson, beat the Warriors in seven the games, so here to tip off the final chapter in this year's guess we'll NBA story see how good they are. <laughs> And the series being hosted in Indianapolis for tonight's game as the Pacers will be going up against the Phoenix Suns. Well, for the Suns, a tooth and nail series for them in the conference finals. It all came down to a deciding game Speaking seven. Speaking of the Suns, we can only you know, hope these NBA Devin Booker for them has been exploding more. here points-wise lately. And here we go, the NBA Finals. It was Two a losing games. effort last only night, but he had 32, which I like because that was his first Detroit. game. Kenny, uh, for me before. in fantasy what basketball, I picked him up like this you week. You know what? You're a little exhausted, Ernie, from everything that led up to this, but you're also rejuvenated. I think it was his first you know game with me this just week. Got one matchup. Put the left. check this here. Is everything you work for the whole season. You're here on a mission, and the mission. Yeah, I decided to pick him up, and <laughs> boy, and I like that kind of production. Harlan, as they get ready. Yeah, that was his. That was indeed his first game uh, on the roster for me. This is Kevin Harlan. Now Wes Burks on the sideline as well. It's Phoenix. I'm desperately needing to pick up a huge win if I want any chance of making the playoffs. And my fantasy basketball team kind of suffered some big blows here down the stretch, and it's hurt my team where I've now fallen out of the playoff race. Or fallen, yeah, fallen out on the. There are six teams playoff, uh, six teams that make the playoff in my league, and I'm the seventh team in the win. I fell from fifth to seventh after another loss last week. Right from the start, I mean, if they get the win here in game one, the buzz in this city and among these fans will just continue to. So it's kind of been a little up, a little bit on the downside the last couple weeks of the season. Oh, wow. Duh, Bledsoe standing right there. That was stupid of me. In at the small forward position. Now here's Bledsoe. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Moore. Suns on defense. Certainly going to be quite the matchup. Outside Hill. From D. Ellis. Wow. Two points with his first shot this game. Easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller. Still pretty defender. decent. Yeah, he needed to add just a little front court on that one because of the size of this match, and he did it perfectly. Power defender. Not as strong as in the last matchup with the Hawks. Inside and had a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early. Backcourt's going to be one we have to they worry about. Possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. they got to find some. You're right. Great open look there. A good open All look right. Well, three. So I'm just going to have to Morris is gone. One or two not give him any three. space out there. Puts it up from 12. Morris That's a bad shot. Major defensive laps right there. He's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. The Pacers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Here's more. Booker. Oh wow. The Suns have gone just. Uh, I'm looking at the bar. Started. I didn't really Here's get that Morris. much on it. No good. So Indiana will take it the other way. Really just <laughs> struggling here. Back and forth. Back and forth. Five attempts with only one fall. Morris a screen. Bledsoe dishes to Morris. Again the miss by Morris. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. 
Freak sets a screen for George. Oh, that was nice. Oh, and he misses it. Phoenix is gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. How good a Doris Burke we had a chance to talk to head coach Jeff Hornacek. We talked about game one and what it would mean to take it on the road. He said we're up against the best their conference has to offer. Taking this first game Ugh. on the road would be a huge victory for us, but more importantly, we have to show them we're going to fight them every step of the way. Gentlemen. Always great to hear from you, Doris. And it's the Pacers with the ball. After the Suns pick up two. On the wing, Ellis. Lock at six. Ludzo against Hill. Parked down low that time, and he got the three second. What? I wasn't down there that long. Pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Freak. Okay. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Indiana. He didn't seem like it. The sun shooting well off the usual numbers, around 29% so far. Lutzo kicks to Chin. There's the pick. Hooker the pass to Chandler, and he slams it one-handed. Flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> one of his favorite moves right there, guys. That's been a, I don't know what it's been here lately. It's just lousy start after lousy start. Once he goes airborne. Indiana making some changes. Oh, that's right. Valjunas got traded to the Suns. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Out to the right wing. Four against Valanciunas. Six on the shot clock. George with no one around. A three-pointer is right on target. George has got himself going with the triple. His that first works. Of the game. Had to do something on the offensive end. Up top, Knight. Defended by Lynn. Knight passes to Lawrence. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. There's a good screen. Inside. Here's more. Yes. Yep. And nope. Nice <laughs> and, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. It's Knight with the drive. Out left to the wing. Here's Drake. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Uh, guys back and forth this first half. Well, update required. Early on, guys, Turn to the main menu. Oh, great. So that's going to be yeah, stuck there this entire game. Some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think you got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Hill is checked in for Paul George, and Phoenix also making a I switch. I could you have told in. me that, you know, before now I started playing. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. More dishes to Stucky. They get it back. And a limit kicks to Lynn. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off. You know that that could have been the nice thing to do. He drew there, Greg. That would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. The Pacers shoot their first free throws of the game right now, and Phoenix making a change here. Booker's checked in. Both free throws good from. All right. Well, after the first quarter, I'll save the game and go back to the main menu because that's annoying. And it's wow, Linick. Outside, Lynn. Alan Junis against Moore. And that Ooh. Right <laughs> Took him right off the dribble. Punches. Ooh, and I got 10,000 fans for that. like a heavyweight fight. <laughs> the momentum swing, really impossible to keep track of. The energy in the building just keeps going back and forth. Ebbing and flowing. I'm loving it. Uh, don't ever want to get into the plenty of the chances offense. to stay in this you game from the foul yeah, line. I agree with you more. I mean, that's the thing the he missed. They were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And he wow. The second. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. Then the pass to Olenek. But three. Rebounded by Valen. I should have taken that, that from him. Went from poor to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. 
Now here's Bledsoe. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Bounces high off the rim and drops. He just what had to say, I think, <laughs> I'm sure that that'll change, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. And Tyson Chandler, known for being a great teammate, a very vocal leader, certainly. He talked about uh, the coach set the standard. Don't you need a all right, let's see here. Save and quit. Seriously, though, it would have been <laughs> nice to, you know, I to put that up or take care of that earlier. It's not like I don't uh, start the game up directly into NBA uh, 2K My Career. <laughs> I do start on the main menu, but... Uh, sometimes the updates in games these days they just seem to work in a backwards way. $250,000 and a trip to the NBA Finals is on the line. Your 2K Pro-Am team qualified road to final tournament is this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And BC is up for grabs with 2K... And It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Two teams, only one ring. Welcome to the finals on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith here to tip off the final chapter in this year's NBA story. It's game one of the final. And the series being hosted in Indianapolis for tonight's game as the Pacers will be going up against the Phoenix Suns. Well, for the Suns, a tooth and nail series for them in the conference finals. It all came down to a deciding game seven. We can only hope these NBA finals can right, so now that that's taken fun. care of, and whatever necessary NBA update finals, it needed to do. <laughs> only one will hoist the championship trophy. Kenny, you've been in this position before. What are your nerves like? Back to the game. <laughs> you know what? You look exhausted. Here's oh, Lee. hey, we get another crack at this. What do you know? Stolen by Bloodso. Uh oh. Oh no. Booker out there at Bloodso. Then there's Trevor Booker. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Okay, I like the end of the first one the better. I guess I didn't give it enough time to register to start the second quarter. Suns lead by two. Well, that bit me. Thanks, game, for your necessary update. <laughs> this uh, Chandler's caliber and character Greg to make that kind of a teamwork uh, you know have the, the that, that feel in the locker room that leadership role that, that everybody believes in and respects uh, no doubt about what it. is with and, the fouling here stature is built on experience and credentials as you mentioned by like 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 or being an all fouling like crazy to start it this and, game and use it that way the, the coach doesn't have to worry about the locker room this Chandler has got that cup. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. What stands out to you from the Suns in this one? It's been a point of emphasis, no doubt, to make sure they attack the rim offensively. I love the fact they're not settling for outside shots. Keep wow. There's some lazy defense. He's in a power forward. Hill is out there with Ellis. And there's Hill, and it's Turner, and at the center locking down. He's the lazy, lazy. Right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Brandon Knight is out there with Booker, and it's Chandler. Then there's Marquis Morris, and it's Drake in at the three spot. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooke. Oh, oh no. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup uh. against the Hawks put on a show. He dropped in 24 points, and he was on target the whole contest. Very few wow. from him all night. He's got three fouls already. Yeah, he's coming out of the game. 
What a special night. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. And, yeah, I mean, sometimes those hot streaks can last for days, and, and, and I'm sure they're, they'll be feeding him the basketball. Hopefully he's still Speaking of hot streaks, well, looks like I'm to. starting I mean, to get on one thanks to the like microwave. You. I think you've got to ride him for as long as he'll carry you. Morris with the screen for Bledsoe. Morris into the lane. And that is good. Morris That's my bad. Now for Phoenix. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Turner with a screen on Bledsoe. Kicks it to Jordan. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Here's more. And there Got the it. <laughs> Strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy. Racking up those second chance points. Now Bledso, Chandler is screen. Got to do Feeds something to stay in this game. Passes it to Drake. Morris into the lane, and it's Phoenix scoring again. He has such a nice touch for. Obviously, got to play yeah, some better defense. Oh, thought I'd just go full in for the dunk there. Over the rest of the game. And the foul on Monte Ellis. That's his first foul. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. Jason Smith, he's checked in for Tyson Chandler. Smith with a screen on him. The shot by Bledsoe. Nobody around. What? More. That's more like it. <laughs> Defended by Booker. Ellis goes in, and the shot is good. Ellis has got seven points. Ellis I is like uh, it. feeling like it, it here to start the game. The there. Seven points now. Probably the second leading scorer on the team. From about 19 feet. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Offline with his three. I think he missed. Oh, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. I should have kicked it back to George. He could have tied the game. I saw him too late after I was already getting in the shooting motion. I guess I could have kicked out of the shooting motion. That's uh, too much room. Morris has got seven points here in this quarter. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shots now starting to fall. Outside, George. The feed to Moore. Doubled by Smith. And Moore kicks to Turner. No good. Good work defensively by Moore. He needed to pass that back out of there. Hooker the pass to Morris. Hill pulls it in. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Here's more nail from three point land. Was on fire, had to try it. <laughs> 15 points. Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. Good thing it worked. This Phoenix team is tough. And I think Doris Burke is. Now, Doris. I was able to listen in on what Jeff Hornacek had to say to his team. He told them they should be dedicating themselves to hitting the offensive glass with everything they've got from now on, even if that means it takes them away from defensive transition. He also talked about creating good looks on the perimeter, saying we can hurt them from See the why outside. See, Wiley, you know, in focus. the simulations beat the Warriors. Even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Right wing, Lynn from long range, and Woo! All right, Get our outside game going now. Their match theirs. Really cranked up in the second quarter, and their field goal percentage shows that over 60 now. Tough to beat them when they shoot it like that. More outside. Here's Hill. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Five on the clock. On its way from Stuckey for two. 
And again, nice job, down. Stucky. 59 seconds left now here in the second. All right. Here's We're starting screen. to find a little bit of a groove here. The lane. Here's Lawrence, and that's good for two as he grabs the feed. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Lynn against Knight. Lynn kicks to Moore. To the paint. Olenek dishes to Moore for three. Ah, I didn't want to step that far back. Hooker inside. He's guarded by Hill. Here's Lawrence. It's rebounded by Indiana. Here's Moore. Get in there. Moore's got 17 now. Well, it's obvious the difference in this quarter has been their dominance on the offensive boards. He had plenty of second chance points. Also, keeps the opponent out of transition, not resting on their lead, staying active. Ah, uh, should have been a little faster on the transition there. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Here's Lynn. Really, Lynn? And the first Try to run the offense through me. No one passes the ball. All right, well, it's probably one of the closest games at halftime. Probably since that Cleveland series. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. What a stellar outing in this one for free. He's got 17 points and one steal as well. And, and guys, really impossible to say uh, where he's been better. I got to start the fouling again. I agree with the last time Bledsoe went to the line, he missed both. Yep, well, it was a little off, but it bounced it. He's got to get him with the shaky screen. Ah, that time it worked. And it's George in at the small forward. Offensive rebound. And one. He draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Yeah, of course, I love the, the new unfazed badge. I still got my on fire streak from the first half. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that played some of the <laughs> I'm really going to enjoy people. that new badge. And Bledsoe, here we go. And the dunk by Chandler. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect okay, example can't give that of up. where each other is at all times. Got it. Get the ball inside. Hill kicks to Moore. Oh, oh ho, 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 ho. I'm sorry, Tyson. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought Second time I've gotten him off the dribble. Yeah, I'm cutting Morris off of any more three pointers. That's good by Bloodsoe. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean,. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And three throws it down. Need to ramp it up defensively. Can't give me dunks like that. Chandler with the screen on him. And Bledsoe, here we go. Again, Phoenix. Three for three. All right, come on. We got to come up with a defensive stop or two here. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Left side, George. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got five assists in the game. I mean, luckily, we have a three-point advantage, but one three-pointer from them, and whoop. This game's tied. There we go, finally. Three of four to start the second half. Here's Ellis. Here's Turner. Nice. Turner's got the lead up to five now for the Pacers. All right, for a little Shea more breathing room. So far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. We 
got to be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Posts. Rotate over and make your presence felt. Quit being so soft. Right, physical defense. Three got it. Third. Brandon Knight is checked in for Booker. Here is Knight. Played physical defense and it came back to bite me. Everything working for him out of the half as they've hit four of their first five shots. Ludzo against Hill. Dishes to Moore. Outside for George. Tries from 16. There we go. George has got seven points in the game. Just reliable guys. He's I have a message. Always trying to make the right play. Chandler is screen. Knight kicks to Morris. No good. Great D that time for Moore. Ellis against Bledsoe. Sure. Oh, jeez. And they're able to recover. And he gets it to go. And that's now 25 points for free. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really Back in right to me. Here's Drake. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. 11 points in the game. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on him. Got it. Ball Hill passes to Moore. Uh... Oh, wow, that went right to Drake. Awful pass. Picked up by Hill. Here's Chandler. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his third rebound on the night. Here's Moore. Trains the jump. There we go. Moore's got 10 points in the quarter. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Side night. More with the steal. And here we go. George <laughs> Look at that clever little poke away. I didn't even think that would work. Great sequence for them defensively and part offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. Knight kicks to Chin. He oh. the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Olenek is checked in for Turner. C.J. Miles comes in for George. Podney Stuckey's checked in for Ellis. And it's Jeremy. Ooh, Lennon I thought I might have gotten called there for a foul. Moore inside. Alan Junis is there to the left wing. Here's Lynn. Sweet Ooh, nice little first. floater. Lynn's got seven. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Knight against Lynn. Goes up with a strike. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got his seventh rebound of the game with that. Boom, basketball. boom, boom, boom. Stucky outside. In the corner, Miles with it. Here's Moore. And the lead now. Got it. Digits on that bucket. And now a 10-point pacer lead. Boy, they are passing Wow, the ball. we've Very exploded here. Right they really are. And their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Brandon Knight certainly. And they're still hanging ball. around, that's for sure. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the third. Right wing. Here's Moore. Oh! Very dangerous. I didn't realize I was that like wide that open. I would have cut in for the, the basket Stolen beforehand. And another fast break chance here for the Pacers. Here we go. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ludzo right side with four seconds on the clock. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got his eighth assist here tonight. And that's his it's in. Suit, the ability to find <laughs> his way through the D and finish at the rim. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day?
Pacers lead by six. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. Pacers leading by six. On the court now for the Suns. Getting going here in the fourth. They've got Brandon Knight. Trevor Whoop. Booker is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Booker in at the two-guard spot. Shoots from 12. The shot, no good. And Phoenix will come the other way. Messaging my friend back there. Well, I had more time than I did. Wow, they're right back in this. Not quite close enough. Suns just don't go away. Give me that before you dribble over the line and get called for backcourt violation. Back to Lynn. To shoot to the middle. Here's more. That works. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Lynn against Knight. Over to the wing. Fires for three. Again, the miss by Knight. Pacers leading by five. Here's Lynn. Knight grabs the ball. Whoa. Using the force again to dribble that basketball. It's got to be one of the weirdest glitches in this game. And Valanciunas kicks to Knight. Valanciunas sets a screen for Knight. Ah! Perfect design on the big play, and he lays it in. Knight's got five points in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Olenek, that was the laziest rebound job I have Lynn ever seen. Eh. Out to Stuckey from deep. There's the bucket pull. Wow. And the Pacers lead by six. And this has been purely a display of offense that we're seeing here today. And you know, it's only getting better as both of these teams' defenses are starting to show signs of wearing down. Yeah, Chris Bosch no longer dealing with blood clot condition. Hopeful he can return at some point this season. Oh, that's good. Spacing. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? I was able to listen in on what Jeff Hornacek had to say to his team. He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. we got to wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. do 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 boo boo do 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 Shoots from 12. The shot no good, a bit short. Yeah, a great shot defense. And really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Hill has the open look. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. George Hill finding his range. Standing patience and decision making for them offensively. Absolutely, their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assists. Here's Drake and Turner with the block. And he's able to get it back. Pacers leading by nine. George passes to Moore. Right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Chandler with the Oh! Got kind of hung up there. Nine against Ellis. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Booker with it, picked up by Ellis. Pocket six. Knight kicks to Booker. 
Fires from deep. And the Suns miss again. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball. It's not Swish. by hoisting up bonehead threes like that one. They just can't miss. Well, he kind of had no choice. They didn't really move the ball around and you know, kind of had to shoot. You're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. They are certainly the bugs tonight. <laughs> Nothing going their way. <laughs> and I'm not even sure that I'd want to be the windshield. No, maybe the windshield wiper. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> the Suns making a switch here. Bloodsoe's checked in. All right, well, I mean, this game isn't out of reach for them. A couple three-pointers fall, and they're right back in this. Indiana leading by nine. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Of course, giving up shots like that doesn't help. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. And what so? Here we go. Hill with some nice D. Take that. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. George dishes to Moore. Shot clock at three. It's <laughs> good off the glass. And it's six points for Miles Turner. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Oh, just couldn't get there the in time. Has really been there They're not going to go down without a fight. They have to take it's it okay, I like that. To continue to carry this how the NBA line. Finals should be. And Freak throws it down. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he but has got to be a But can't give up shots like, like that. <laughs> Suns trail by 13. There's the dish to Booker. <laughs> what are you doing, Morris? There you go. Morris outside. The shot is off. Great D that time from Moore. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. And, and guys, you can ah, put this time that one. Books. Exactly how they wanted to kick off this series against a tremendous opponent. Big win for Indiana. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Well, the ball movement was good. The player movement was really? good. Really? There we go. When guys make shots. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Freak. And you have to love the effort he put forth on the glass. He played with a fire. Wow. Match as he chased down those rebounds. One second to separate the shot clock and game. And he gets it to go. And they feel good about this. What a block I mean, Tyson Chandler home for flying across the court. Well done. They gave these fans exactly what they want. Chandler is screen. Bloodsoe against Hill. Chandler with the screen on Hill. And Bloodsoe, here we go. Puts it up. No good. So no problem for Indiana. Well, they, get they the stuck win. close uh, there throughout. For them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And, and you know they'll want to ride this way. Give them like credit. I mean, they just, just couldn't get the job yeah, done in the fourth quarter. Hopefully for us, we're a good closing Doris. team. Well, at least in that game we were. Yes, I'm here with Paul George. And Paul, a strong The 2K Sports post-game show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. Just an unreal performance for him in so many ways. That was a player at the absolute, I mean, absolute top of his game. It's hard to imagine someone being any more dominant than he was tonight. Starting out the series, this is a huge win to go up 1-0. He gave them the energy and effort they needed. Huge performance, and what a time to do it. If he can keep up this effort, Ernie, boy, oh boy, oh boy. And that'll do it for tonight's NBA Finals coverage. For Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you for more high stakes. <laughs> Whew. 
team's tough. Luckily, like I said, luckily we were just able to close it out there in the fourth. Can easily lose a game against these guys, that's for sure. All right, game two, here we go. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the NBA Finals. I'm Ernie Johnson, proud to be with our friends Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith on 2K Sports. And we are getting primed and ready for game. And the series being hosted in Indianapolis for tonight's game as the Pacers will be going up against the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix, Phoenix, sun, Phoenix, Phoenix, Stingus, Stingus, fuck a duck a doo Still, it's just one game, and they look to return to form here in game two. Huh? What happened? Coming game two after dropping game one of the finals, do you think that they can come back in this series, Shaq, even if they don't even it up with a win tonight? You know, I think if they lose this game, they can still win the series. However, the odds of them winning the series with the loss tonight it drops dramatically. Well, this is a game, Ernie, where they need to send a message. That's it. You know, it's not a must win, but they definitely need to get the momentum and change. Get a little momentum carry now. Dooby dooby doop boop. There's no doubt. What was Kyle Singler and Kelly Olenek sitting on there? This is Kevin Holland along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. They, they were just, yeah, they, they were just sitting on air in the middle of the court there. I guess not the middle of the court. But. They were sitting on air <laughs> in the huddle. And you've heard the adage that the series doesn't start until someone wins on the road. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, as the top seed, all they have to do is take care of business on their home court. Good start. They did that in their last game. We'll see if that's the case again here tonight. Yeah, and you talk about pressure. Winning this game would have them going on the road with very little pressure on them. All right. Looks like going to go back and forth again. They get it done here today. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Suns. Ludzo is out there with Booker. And it's Chandler. Then there's Good pass, turn. Small fourth. Threw it down with authority. Oh, he can really fly. And you can reverse that rolls. Usually I'm passing nice to him for a dunk. And you've got an easy two points. And able to just play well above the rim. I mean, that makes this guy so dangerous when he's in the game. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. He had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. He doesn't get the second one. Here's Indiana. They're coming off a great victory on Wednesday. Oh no. Uh, okay, that's my bad. That's a terrible angle. On your game, but bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot All right, good. We get a reset. From a defensive standpoint. No question about it, Greg. I mean, it's all about the results, right? And if you can limit open looks, sometimes oh. into an opponent's head. So even when they do spring free, well, that's not my fault he's standing out of bounds and aren't able to knock those shots down. Now, here's Butzo. Pass to Drake. Fires from deep. And a great assist by Blunzo as that one goes in. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. I caught up with Coach Jeff Hornacek. I asked him how he felt about his chances of taking game two on the road, and he told me, I still think we can. Our goal was to come in and take away at least one of these two games here, and we could still meet our goal. But this is the NBA Finals. Nothing comes easy. Uh, we'll see if they can meet their goal. Guys? Thanks again, Doris. Now Bloodzo following the miss okay. by Ernest from deep. Passes it to Drake. Chandler is screen. Back to Bloodzo. Launches a three. 
Nope, that well, will belong to me. Thank you. To miss a wide open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. Got a hand on it. Ah, too much, too fancy there. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. One so kicks to Morris. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, I like the way they're sharing the ball and Bledsoe right in the middle spreading it around. <laughs> and I tell you Just what, passed his hand. A stop to that slam. Yeah, a break for the defense. That was a case of stand back, watch the show, buckle up. <laughs> and I don't blame them. They weren't going to be able to do anything about that one anyway, so discretion, the better part of Valor there. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. Now here's Ellis, following the miss by Eric Bledsoe. Oh, oh, nice. Sloppy D there. So you far it's been Turner and I the getting the job done here. Hands down there. Extremely untidy on the defensive end. I mean, when he gets it in that close, that's an easy button. The pass to Drake shoots a three. Oh, that's good. And Bledsoe yeah, gets that's in. Bledsoe's got three assists tonight. Pacers trail by three. Moore outside. There's a screen. I thought about going to Turner it's back there. To Hill. Shot clock at five. A step back shot here. Kept alive. Tries again. And Ouch. Okay, well, I was going to try to pass it out of there, but I'll take the, the shooting foul. The shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. That's good for more. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Turner. Solomon Hill comes in for George. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. Oh, well, an entirely new group for except for me. Well, as far as the league's big men go, I'm pretty much a feature player. At the foul line. Knight dishes to Booker. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Was shot by Knight. That Booker. was a rush shot. Boy, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance, leaving him that wide open behind the arc. On the wing, Hill defended by Booker. Hill passes to Moore. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That is his first foul of the game. Okay, that works. Really He's looking to turn around and shoot it there, but an official has to make. Yeah, some but reason it case, right. didn't want me to shoot. I am hitting X position. button. X button is shoot, right? <laughs> At least on the Xbox it is. Now here's Lynn. Back to Moore. Oh. And a chance to take the lead. Phoenix has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Olenek with the steal. Good job. Although it wasn't a win. Lynn against Knight. Lynn kicks to Moore. He's just there to pick the ball up. up a three. Oh, In Stucky, the come on, better it. shots Missing. than that. The Suns leading. Here's Booker. Second chance effort. That's oh, should have been there. Booker's I gave up. Just That's my bad. It's on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Now here's Stucky. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Boy, I tell you what, guys. He's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Here's Knight. From the line, gets the front of the rim and out. Eight second difference between the shot. Joe Lynn. The Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough There we go, time. found a way to score. So far. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating. Than Problem this solved. Number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Now, here's Knight. by Moore. Just tentative in the paint. Lacking a little bit of confidence allows the defender to recover and contest that shot. Oh! 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 That was a lucky bounce. Wow, that was lucky. Yeah, I can't go back far enough. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead.
And when you consider how the Pacers are doing, guys, what do you think? It's been a point of emphasis, no doubt, to make sure they attack the rim offensively. I love the fact they're not settling for outside shots. Keep attacking that rack. More in it, power forward. Jeremy Lin is out there with Ellis. Then it's Olenek, and it's George in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. That doesn't fall either. Uh. First two shots tonight. The Suns trailing. A chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last minute. All right, who left Drake open? Some outstanding basketball. He had 35 points and was in the zone as a shooter, lighting it up from both the foul line and the field. Numbers like that make you anxious to see what he can do next time out. All right, Doris, thanks so much for the report. You had to just marvel, guys. And what nice. To do that night. I didn't take advantage you of the know, space he gave you. Basketball being played at its highest level. No, no question who their MVP was in that one. No question whatsoever, Greg. I mean, that's a performance he and his fans will remember for a long, long time. George Hills checked in for Indiana. And Phoenix also making a switch. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Right on the wing from outside the arc. Again, the miss by night. The Pacers shooting at nope. 50%. Don't you know group. all rebounds belong to me? Hill dishes to Moore. Let's it go from deep. Score the basket. His <laughs> only missed one of his five shots tonight. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. It's been my shot here recently, right from the top of the key. The Pacers will take it. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Freak, third. Huh. <laughs> Second quarter of basketball. Three, just over third. So far, Losing out to two guys who aren't even playing anymore. Pass to George. Here's Ellis. That ball is nice speed. That shot. From George. Now it's a seven-point Indiana lead. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Knight. And it's... Ooh! Nice. Wow, Paul oh, George. Fast break. Hey, Greg, I love the fact he's always in control, even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. Bledsoe kicks to Smith. Ellis against Knight to stop the run. Again, the miss by night. Boy, they just cannot take the lid off. Well, they need a basket in the worst possible way. And they've got to stop this run, and the only way you do that, you got to score yourself. No, no, no. The feed to Moore. Watso comes over to help. And here's Hill for three. Excellent defense ah. there from Smith. Suns trail by nine. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And Bledsoe, here we go. Well, they're going to get one there. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Indiana's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So far. Hill dishes to Ellis. And again, it's Indiana converting. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting Keep over this the up. We're gonna put this game away already. Knight kicks to Bledsoe. Chandler is of course, now I just curse myself. Bledsoe passes to Chandler. Knight for three. That's a but deep three-pointer. His touch has disappeared on him this fourth. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Offensive rebound. That's terrific defense. That's right awful there from shot from converting in close. With the shot, that one goes. For How the does he hit tonight. that? And apparently, eight is enough. Mark him one for eight. Even though it went down, I don't think that's the kind of look they should be settling for. Here's Ellis. Uses the glass to finish the way. Wow, we both got Ellis open there. Ellis has got the lead up to nine now for Indiana. After going scoreless in the first, he's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Total 
Hi, here we go. Hill comes in for George. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Hill. Knight dishes to Booker. Morris outside. Kicks it to Booker. Stay close to him. Movement here by the Suns. Excellent D there from Hill. Pacers leading by nine. Then the pass to Moore. One twenty-one left in the first half. Lynn's ah. shot is off. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. And stolen by Stuckey. And now Stuckey running the floor all by himself. And defensively, they are on their heels every time. Oh, hey, Reaver, what's up? Inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Sorry, I spaced out there for a second. Now looking over my chat box. Morris kicks tonight. Just five to shoot. And count the basket. Oh, nice. Nice, he's going to the line for one more. Nice, nice, and nice job, Lynn. Old school with the finger roll. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Suns. The Suns shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Indiana leading. And Whoop. Hill, that time the assist by Lynn. Hill's I've been good. Uh, my overall rating Lynn's right now is, is 90. Passing. It's been Jeremy kind of consistent now. staying there at 90. Feeds it to Booker. Mostly because I've been lacking on doing practices and the getting the Jonas. attribute upgrades. Nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And Greg, they do need to get going. Ah. Uh, you know, shaving a couple I more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it will so yeah, be I've a just kind of been hanging around the 90 range. Uh, I'm a power forward. Outside night. Goes up on the wing. Good work defensively by Turner. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get Oh, deep three. Ooh, just straight. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Pacer. Kevin, thank you. Here with Frank Vogel. And, Coach, you've got to be pleased with that first half. The ball was moving. Your guys were sharing. Things were going well for you. What, what about it pleased you? I like playing the inside position. I've always enjoyed playing a power forward. Nice. 91 shooting guards, not bad at all. I hit a Curry-esque shot the other day. <laughs> it's a pretty deep three-pointer. Yeah, Solomon Hill's no okay, Steph listen. Curry, though. This uh, every once in a while, just the AI decides the to hit random off. shots That's like that. So I thought, man, maybe he'd stand a chance. No slowing him down, just some incredible numbers for free. He's got ten rebounds, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. And on the that floor, is Jeff not a good start to the quarter. Half, we've got Booker. Marky Morris is out there with Chandler. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Drake in at the three. Yeah, that's kind of why I like playing a power four pick. position. Still get the blocks and the uh, rebounds. The scrap in there with the big guys. But then you also still... A lot of times have the shooting abilities to, enough to get the job done. knock them down from the outside. In the stack column. And that's what's translated to this league. Kind of model my game a lot of like after Kevin Love. I'd say probably yeah, NBA player closest to what I usually model my character after. It's probably Kevin Love. They have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And he knocks down the first one. Chandler hits them both. He 
Pacers leading by six. Outside, George. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Off target on the 15-footer. I a bucket all of a sudden right here. I mean, he's not a player you can leave uh -oh. for a jump shot. you got to stay attached to him. You're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And look at that. Phoenix is right back in this. Three is better than two. <laughs> Always simple math. That's that UNLV. He knows all about. I didn't even look to see who this Drake guy is. May just be like a draft pick or something. Randomly generated player. Vincent Drake. Personality unpredictable. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a draft pick. Ow, for, for some mediocre ratings, 69 overall. Wow, he plays a lot better than what his ratings are. That as well, most of his points have been three-point shots. Come on now, we, we got calculus at our school. Yeah, that's a good mix of players. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Yeah, I've I've used that move before. Outside, George. He feeds it to Turner. Okay, I need to get out of the paint here before I get called for three seconds again. Shot clock at six, and stolen by Booker. All right, well, keep making passes like that. This is going to be a long end of this game. No good. Excellent D there from Hill. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been. An That's my shot right there. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Morris with a screen. Of that mid-range jumper from the free throw line. Bledsoe against Hill. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Moore against Chandler. Moore left side. Right side Hill. Oh, I should have gone to George. Yep. <laughs> Hill's going to find him, though. George has got himself going with the triple, his first basket. Yeah, I'd like to be, but they show no interest. Well, they didn't draft me. I was drafted by the Pacers, and then when my contract was up, they had no interest. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved. And even then, I was in the postseason. A lot less competition in Indiana for the power forward spot to become a starter where Chicago still would have had to deal with Gasol and Gibson. So I stayed here in Indiana. Just five on the clock. There's the three. No good from Booker. Indiana leading by six. Tries from 10, the offensive rebound, and Olenek kicks to Hill. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Phoenix has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming. Yeah, I, wanna, I, I think I was, I, one of my first contracts so came up. I can't remember, I know the Kings Chandler's were one other team. I don't remember what the third team was there other than the Pacers. Uh, but the Pacers ended up offering me more minutes and more money. And so I just kind of hung around here. Hey, ended up winning the championship with them last year. And a good spot here to win it again. Yeah. Plugging my controller here. That blasted... Stroke from long range. If he keeps hitting those opportunities, he better take them. They cut me off there so I can say getting that blast and batteries are low me message. If I don't do it soon, then I'm gonna. <laughs> the game's gonna let me know because all of a sudden the controller's just gonna randomly shut off. I've had that happen before where it popped up and then I forgot and then I'm in the middle of something and all of a sudden it, uh. I have no controller. 
He's got to take it. 143 left to play here in the third. Bloodshow outside. Yeah, I'm a free agent at the end of the year. I mean, that's not bad, the deal you got there. So, I can see, I mean, I'm going to test free agency, but probably a good chance if we win here that I may just return to Indiana. Hill's got six assists here tonight. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. So right now, I'm their star player. They may give me a good deal. Lots of minutes, lots of money. Position down low, boxes out, and then corrals it. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team. That always happens to me, my controller you know, dying when I'm in like a multiplayer match and can't pause the, the game. Blood show outside. Like I'm in the in middle of the firefight, I've Chandler completely forgotten screen. that my controller batteries are dying, the and all of a sudden controller goes. And and I'm just a standing duck there, and usually get blasted in the face. He came off that screen, and then he just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Here's Miles. Ooh, I just snuck that one in there. Solid play all around. That's their third straight. Booker stopped. Great Thought he was going to run all the way through. Morris with a screen on Hill. Bloodso kicks to Morris. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That one out of Linick. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The Suns shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, I'll have to see what uh, what the interest, what the market is. Free throw good for Morris. And Phoenix making a change here. Both shots good from the strike. Boy, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. And Clark, those free throws need to continue if they're going to get back in this game. Outside Hill. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. Eight points for Hill. Oh, yeah, I'm in a good position. I've got a good team right now. Ah, I was too late on that pass. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Suns trail by 12. Oh, he's in a power forward. Ooh, easy, Jeremy Lin. Out there with Jeremy Lin. Then there's Solomon Hill, and it's Turner in at the five spot. That's the Pacers five. First, go team up with James Harden. Have the top two, or two of the top three scoring uh, players in the league. Here's Bledsoe. To the middle, here's Lawrence. And Turner with the block. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Pacers. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Yeah, but they've been offensive defensively tonight because they've really forced the issue on D and come up with quite a few steals and deflections. <laughs> Six. Good ball movement here by the yeah, see, that's the kind of thing that happens and to me. It's the just, court, the just the worst the timing when the controller so the dies when I forget to plug it in. Two free throws for the contact right there. But at least, yeah, hey, you coasted to the power, uh, the uh, finish line. At least the controller didn't die right before a turn and you go crashing into the wall. <laughs> Two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. Ellis, he's checked in for Solomon Hill. And the Suns making a change here as well. Booker, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And he's good on the second. Suns trail by 15. Dishes it to Valanciunas. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Indiana's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shots tonight. Here's Lynn. 
Lays it in without a Ow, didn't make you a tough shot sorry, there. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. Indiana lead by 15. Wow, that's an open layup. You outside. have got to. Okay. I don't know why you passed and it to me off the back the of my head. That's a screen for Lynn. Shot clock at five. There's the bucket. Good. And it's now 23 points for Freak. Another bucket down low. Yeah, They've I'm still hanging around with the DSA guys. Taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's Although it's kind of been state. quiet. It's so like walking through a ghost end. town for the most part. <clears throat> There's still a few of us that get on Battlefront on the weekend. A lot of times, there's usually several of us on Sunday nights playing. Night with it. Passes it to Drake. But for the most part, it's it's been pretty quiet. At least on the Xbox side. PS4 side's still going pretty strong. The X Xbox side's been really quiet lately. Pacers leading by 17. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. There's the pick. Move the ball. Land the pass to Moore. All right. Oh, there we go. It's like I got nowhere to go with this. Ellison Booker doing the two-step over there. A little tango in the corner. They have just been stellar. Yeah, really good. I'm not sure what they were doing, but they were hugging each other. Nice he come over it. there. Man, Turner. it's been a lot of fun to watch. The points just keep piling up because they've been uh, such a well-oiled machine. Yeah, it's definitely not as heavy as it once was. More inside. Chandler on him. And no, they're they're not uh, no really practices anymore. They have been bored dominant in this game. That's they tried setting up a Friday night thing, but I can't make Friday nights, so I was never there, and I think that's kind of died off. Kind of unofficially have been meeting on some Sunday nights, but like as unofficial practices, there's nothing much anymore. And he is always going to finish that one. And the Suns making a change here. Morris has checked in. That's a lovely camera angle. Of, I think that was Pacers somebody's arm. By 18. Got it. Let's get the ball inside. More outside. Lynn against Knight. Chandler with the block. And they're moving it up. Here's Booker. Finish off the break. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it. Just haven't really found much of a game they anymore to, to get behind. More left side. And he throws it down hard with one hand. The one hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing it. I mean, there's good for Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, the sour note of its release. Kind of ruined things. And never really found a game after that. And then, of course, Battlefront not being the greatest game out there. Kind of being average. I guess not many people enjoyed it that much. Taken away. And here is Knight. In the corner, it's Morris. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Ten points for Markeith Morris. And that'll effectively take care of game two. Oh, that's not bad at all. Finals. I'm glad it, it worked out for you. For the next one, but right now, an important win for Indiana. Clark, this was a physical, physical game. Yeah, but the awareness they had offensively to penetrate really was the difference. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Freak. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Olenek, he's checked in for more. Solomon Hill. Some 
changes for Indiana. Morris checked in for Kelly Olinick. Paul George comes in for Hill, and it's Ellison for C.J. Miles. And there's Paul George on the assist by Hill. I've just kind of hung around, as, you know. I'm not on as much anymore, other than doing like the Twitch streaming throughout the day. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. But I've had nowhere to go and not really doing much. Don't really have much time to do competitive stuff anyway. So, figure just hang around, see how things play you, out. And now let's move on to the Maybe eventually uh, things will pick back up again. Never know. Be nice. Love to see that clan get back to where it used to be. He stepped up in a huge way tonight. You know, we all think of him as a role player, but not tonight. It's the NBA Finals, baby. He was the star. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every this game always cracks me up just, just talking about, oh, yeah. He, he's just, normally, he's just a role there, player, but he was the star. What are you talking about normally on the role player? I am the star on this team. Oh, yeah. The MVP of the entire NBA. He's just a role player. I'm sorry. Did you watch this season? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much interest in a lot of things these days. Especially, and I don't think it's ever been much of a racing game clan anyway. Sports pregame show. I've never really seen that much interest in Ernie Johnson, like Forza games or anything NBA like that. On 2K Sports, Game Three brings us our first change of scenery, but what hasn't changed are my colleagues at home in any arena. Kenny, the even in the heyday, it was mostly a lot of just shooters. Tonight, as the Suns will be going up against the Indiana Pacers. Checking out the Pacers here in the finals, and they remain undefeated in this postseason. They're the undisputed favorites at this point. We'll see if Battlefront, obviously, COD. Well, and eventually, right, you know, as time went on, Destiny. This final series, how different. Is this game three going to be, Kenny, now that the finals have shifted venues? Oh, you got to be prepared to face an aggressive team tonight. You know, this team's desperate for a win, so you can't just come in unprepared. It's a lot harder to win games on the road. You know what I'm saying, Shaq? You know, they lose. Even now, there are a lot of games. I mean, probably despite the disappointment, yeah, still probably should have pushed a little bit of Battlefront. We'll see the Indiana Pacers and the Phoenix Suns. Well, the division seems to be drawing a lot of interest here. But after losing the first two on the road, you know, there's no question they'll need a win tonight to regain some confidence and make make this a series. I mean, I don't know specifically from the clan, but I mean from the general public. It's really do or die. They need a win to keep their championship hopes alive. Rocket League would be fun. Get some more people behind that. <laughs> I love that game. They get a huge boost going forward. The fans would simply get crazier and more hyped up. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. And there's some Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Yeah. There's another extremely fun game. And more kicks to George. Sinks the triple. George has got himself on the board with three there. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter.
Yeah, DSA was was never a racing clan. Yeah, it, it was best, you know. And I'm glad you found a good group of guys to get behind. I don't know who is Phil. And what so Did I say a Phil somewhere? I don't remember saying a Phil. It's night with the drive. Pacers with the rebound. They want that intensity to carry over from that victory on Friday. And what got them that win was the remarkable success they had from the floor. I mean, just a tremendous shooting performance. Oh, good move and over by Bledsoe. That kind of shooting to happen all the time on a nightly basis. But when it does, boy, does it feel good and look good. That shot's good by Bledsoe. Oh. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. They set the pick. Over to the wing. Ellis from beyond the arc and the Pacers another three yeah poor job defensively giving him such a clear look at the basket from three-point range Morris with a screen on him Ludzo passes to Morris his work there coming off well, I have no idea what I was talking about there because I, I I have a friend named Phil but he's yeah, not like associated with the plan the right. maybe I just he's didn't say something good. right and it sounded like Phil he didn't do his job as well as he could have now here's more Outside, George. Freaks sets a screen for George. Five on the clock. Back to Moore. Picked his pocket. Ah, should have known not to do that. I made that mistake in the last game. Moore with the steal. Hill dishes to George. Here's Moore, and they will keep oh the pass as they rule goaltender. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. It's night with the drive. That was with some nice D. And, and fancy finishes like that look great, but man, it's embarrassing when you blow it. Now the dish to Moore releases. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Moore's got his second basket of the game. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Knight, that's a two-pointer, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. More, and again, it's Indiana converting. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Now and well, I can't help but hold the ball too long when no one's open. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. It's his first trip to the line. <laughs> nice. Uh. Yeah, it, it is. It is strange, and I, I've had that a lot, you know. Um, especially when it comes, I, I more have it so when it comes to uh, like technology, it, it's always weird for you know. It, at least it seems weird when people twice my age come looking to me for assistance and that, or my opinion on things. But you know, I know there's that generation gap there. Well, at least in with technology steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy he's up the pick here's win but yeah it's, it's definitely odd when defense from night you're so used to looking to advice or when you're in a situation uh, where you're the one asking questions and suddenly things flip around and people are asking you the questions. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of an odd change of pace. But then yet it makes you feel good about yourself because people are coming to you for advice that they trust you and trust your knowledge or you know of whatever situation it may be. 
wind kicks to Moore. From 13, uses the glass to drop it in. Moore's got eight points. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Knight against Lynn. Valanciunas with a screen on Lynn. Knight passes to Valanciunas. Booker in the corner. Someone's open. There you go. Lock at six. There's the triple. And it's Lynn with the rebound. Pacers leading by three. Eh, always need something to keep you on your toes. <laughs> Keeps the old noggin sharp. <laughs> on the wing, Stucky. Defended by Booker. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense from the interior today. Now, here is Knight. Ah! Seven, and he just punishes the D for falling asleep at the wheel. A little disorganized that time, and the result, two points <laughs> in the longest way possible. Guys, there has to be better rim And with the rim hang game. there. Not very good. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And Turner with the block. And here they go. A pull up. No good Ooh. time to beat the buzzer. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Pacers lead by... Started again for the next bit of action in this game three. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? They come out the gates here strong and put together just a solid first quarter. A ton of good looks for him, Greg, on offense, and it's quality shots they're getting. And a chance here presented by Gatorade. Yeah, but I would definitely love to see more Open interest in fun games like Rocket League. Quarter. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. They've got Jonas Valanciunas. Ludzo is out there with well, Plants vs. Zombies, too. Like I said, both those games are an extreme amount of fun. But of course, there's not much activity again in the clan either. I just think uh, RL caught up with a lot of people. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified. For yeah, I, I think they'll be a little afraid. <laughs> I mean, anybody who saw that game has to still be in awe. Wow, you know, that's that's crazy. Dominant. Well, I tell you, he was in such a rhythm and on the roll. He could have won that game. All I've met so. people before who are like know, voice twins of people in the clan. It's like, to had to do a double check. It's like, right wait a second. <laughs> I think I remember, uh, I think we ran into someone on, uh, when we were doing some LFG for Destiny, found someone, I don't remember who he sounded like, but it would have sworn it was one of our guys, it's like, nope. Moore's got six points in the quarter. Oh, Rocket League is a ton of fun. It's a game you can easily get wrapped up in. Especially now that uh, they uh, added the snow days to the uh, Xbox playlist. No good good so you have a choice of either playing standard yeah, soccer or uh, you can play hockey as well. I'm sure you appreciate that. Now here's Lynn. Flying so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And the basket by Hill. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the end. Ah, yes, Norm's one liners. Smash mouth Good times. Good times. Yeah, you should definitely buy it. it it's uh, well worth the 20 bucks. And so here is Indiana following the miss by Eric Bloodson. And they just released Batman DLC, so you can drive the Batmobile. And that's going to increase the field goal percentage even more. They have a huge edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. I mean, they've been very patient offensively. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's as fun as it looks. I was, you know, I've seen uh, gameplay beforehand of people playing on the PS4 and PC, and 
Like, man, and I really hope they bring that to the Xbox. And when they announced that they were, I was so excited to finally play it. Bought it day one and... Definitely, uh... Definitely as uh, fun as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I was not around in Battlefront 1. I came in on Battlefront 2, because Battlefront 2 was the um, first game I ever played uh, online. Kelly Olenix checked in for Turner. Paul George comes in for Solomon Hill. Monte Ellis checked in for CJ Miles. And it's Hill in for Jeremy Lin. Now, here is Morris. That one goes. Come About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Here's more, and he jams it with authority. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll have fun. I usually play Rocket. Well, I've moved it into my stream rotation to play it um, every Wednesday. that one goes in. Bledsoe's got five assists tonight. Here's more, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Maybe could have tried for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember Zizer, however you said it. I don't remember how to say it. I remember the name, but I just don't remember how he said it. I think it was Zizor. Zizor. Whatever. Like I said, I remember it. Now, here's Ellis. After Markeith Morris's miss, Hill dishes to Moore. It's back to Hill. There's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. And Freak gets it to go on the assist by Hill. Hill's got three assists in the game. Suns trail by 11. Bloodsoe outside. It to Chandler. Here's Trey. And it's off from That's an ugly looking shot, but it's and been working for him Ellis. thus far. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Ellis has got wow. that had to bring back some Paul memories. Moore, picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assist. Now here's Bloodzo. He's got five. Pops loose off the pick and hammers it home. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick. Uh, last the Sunday, I made a... Uh, understanding between teammates. It might have been a Monday possible. night instead. And I got together with some of the guys on Battlefront. It was, it was like myself, Comp, uh, Dark Helmet... Zabka, I think, was on for a little bit. Gino was there. Blunt was there. I'm trying to think if anyone else was there. I think that was it. It was like five of us, I think. And on the screen now is the two but man, it was like old times playing with those guys. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Trevor Booker, he's checked in now for Phoenix. Brandon Knight comes in for Booker. The Pacers also with a sub. Ooh. Stuckey's checked in. Suns free Gonna get 11. that. Knight kicks to Booker. Stolen by George. And a fast break now for the Pacers. Hill leading the charge. Moore passes to Stuckey. And once again off the mark by Indiana. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Uh oh! Wide open shot from Morris. Hits the three-point pop. Morris has got ten points. Yes, such a sweet <laughs> three-point stroke there. And it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the floor. Moore dishes the stucky. Ah, nothing like a good old crazy practice. And Hill has it in the corner. Drop past the arc. Basket is good. The assist from Stucky. Hill's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Yeah, I was playing Destiny the other day for a little bit for Zab. He needed Once some help on a mission, Morris. so I jumped on and for a little bit to help him out. On the break. 
lets it go from the wing. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And the first half is now in the books. Indiana out in front. They lead by 11. Uh, I think Deoxin might have been on that that night. All right, I've been man. scrolling through Big my half coming up. Pay attention list to what I'm here. About to say and we'll be walking out of here with game three under our belts. So it seems like there was someone else that was on that night. I think it was Deoxin. Floor, it's been a very intelligent display. We're hitting our shots because we're only taking smart shots, and that's the way we want to do it. Ball security was probably our high point. Let's continue to keep a tight handle on the ball and not try to thread too many needles with our passes. And just to talk about what we want for the pace of the game, I'd say nice and steady suits us just fine. It doesn't have to be a track meet. We've come a long way for this. We've poured everything we have into getting into the finals. This is no time to let up. Let's play our best half of the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I think it was that, that night. I think it was Comp, DH, Deoxin, Gino, Blunt, and myself. And and Zabka, I think, showed up for a little He's bit. Hell because of that first half, offensively, he was in a zone. It sure is a treat to watch him, guys. I mean... Everything's been running through him, and he's doing a fantastic job keeping the offense clicking on all cylinders. On the court for Indiana. Moore, he's in at power forward. Ellis is out there with George Hill. Then it's Olenek, Oof. and it's George in at the three spot. Suns trail by 11. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on George. For Phoenix, they have been perfect. Blah, blah, blah. Far, albeit just two for two. First one falls for him. So he's got almost got that unibrow going for him like Anthony Davis. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And here is Hill. Here's more and a beautiful feed lead to a monster <laughs> jam. How about that break? I love lazy and transition defense. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yes, indeed. It's Knight with the drive. Baseline try, and that one's good. Knight's got nine. And look at how quick he was to bite on the punt. They left his feet way too soon. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. More outside. What do we have? Here George. we go. George That's coming around. Five. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. Paul George with the steal. Now we go back the other way. More right side. To the inside. Ah! I knew I wouldn't be able to make that pass. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. More as a screen. All right, Reaver. Hey, thanks for uh, jumping in. It was good catching up with you for a little bit there. Here's him. In the Have a good rest of the day, man. More passes to George. Stolen by Knight. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And the dunk by Chamber. I'm having a rough start here to the second half. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. We're all having a rough start here to see. Yeah. That's just good aggressive attacking basketball at both ends. So both teams making some changes here. 
Lynn against Knight. He dishes it to Valanciunas. Passes to Drake. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Lock at six. The feed now to Valanciunas. On D. <laughs> yeah, right. No good. And Indiana will If that went in, I, I may have uh, just dropped my controller. <laughs> called it again. Uh, called it a day. That that's game right there. <laughs> called it a game. Called it a day. I don't know how I'm supposed to recover from that goofiness. All right, hey, sounds good, man. And that one falls to Monte Ellis. One. The Sun's making a change here. Booker's checked How about in. About number two. And the Pacers also making a change. Solomon Hill is checked in for George. Sun's trail by nine. Height with it. And it's Lynn picking him up. And it's Lynn Whoops. with the rebound. What the, grab the rebound. rebound. I just swatted at it there. The glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like the X button instead of the Y button. Of the offensive duties for his team. They can't guard us on the perimeter. But spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason, as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Freak number one. Oh yeah. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. Jaws under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. It's Knight with the drive. Whoa. Easy layup after coming off the pit. Knight's got 11 points. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Here's Lynn. Here's Moore. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Moore's got six points in the quarter. Suns trail by 11. Getting that hustle work. Screen by Valanchunas. Knight kicks to Valanchunas. That's good. The assist ah. that time for Knight. Six Val points Val now. Valanchunas going right back at me. seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket. Oh, no. Listless and lifeless. At that the opening closed. Indian, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. No good from Booker. Pacers. Goes pretty nine. quickly. Lynn kicks to Moore. Uncovered, and he hits the jump shot. Uncovered, and, and, and that kind of easy basket. The defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. Suns have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. To the wing right side. The pass to Drake. Whoa. Pass to Lawrence. And so he ah. the ball on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. No need for that, hey Hill. Guys, let's get your take on the score breakdown for the Pacers. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. C.J. Myers, he's checked in for Indiana. They set the pick. Here's Lynn. From down in the low post. It goes. Nice. Lynn's got his first points in this one. Suns trail by 12. Outside night, he kicks to Booker. Corner shot, it's rebounded by Indiana. Moore's got rebound number eight now on the night. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. <laughs> I love making those kind of shots. Defense right in my face. This quarter. He's doing a terrific job. <laughs> yeah, I'm just that good. 
Knight into the lane. Drops it in from 11 feet. Knight's got six here in this quarter. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Stuckey dishes to Lynn. Back to Stuckey. A basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got his seventh assist in the game. Very nice. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. That's in, and the Pacers lead. Yeah, lucky shot. 12 on the bucket from Valanciunas. Brandon Knight certainly can pass the orange. Here's Turner. And Tenning is going to the call. So they get the basket there anyway. Get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And here are the Suns now. Ludzo and I to the backcourt. Booker out there with Markeith Morris. And it's Smith in at the center position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Bloodso against Hill. And Bloodso, here we go. Makes it off the glass. Bloodso's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Phoenix. Indiana leading by 12. You got it. Hill the passes to Olenek. And George kicks to Moore. Good oh. defensively by Moore. I I Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Morris a screen. Knight against Hill. Smith left side. Booker dishes to Bloodsoe. Just five on the clock. Rebounded by Moore. Moore's got and nine rebounds. I think that's my double double Hill. now. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Hill kicks to Moore. Ellis outside. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Ellis has got the lead up to 14 now for Indiana. It is my double-double. Sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I was able to listen in on what all right. I stop in, or at least try to stop inside baskets. They've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. we got to wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control. Well, see, I protected there. We'll I prevented the end one. Thanks a lot, Doris. What a performance from Bledsoe here. He has nine points, and also those active hands of his have led to a pair of fields. Yeah, he can just change a game with his defense, and he's thrown off their rhythm completely the last several possessions. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half, guys. And when you're behind, it's a good strategy. Not only do you get points, but you also get to set your defense. There's still time for them to come back. One may be out of reach, too. Pacers leading by 12. Whoa, that's risky. Another gap in the defense. That worked out. There, and they've really had their number today. Drake defended by George. Morris with a screen on George. Drake. They get the rebound. Goes back up. It's stolen by Hill. And now it's Hill running. He can go all the way. <laughs> That's yeah, he's got no competition there. I think they've got to do a better job of bodying him up. Clearly, they've been outclassed in the paint. Really, at both ends of the floor. Knight passes to Morris. Back to Knight. Morris with the screen for Knight. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12, and the shot no good, a bit short. Indiana's gone three of six tonight. When yeah. They, they really need to start trying to knock Here's down some three-pointers, which I know they can do. Some solid defense Just not setting themselves up to do 16. it. Ludzo passes to Drake. All sorts of time. Phoenix no good that time either. I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. Oh, Monte Ellis with the spin I mean, move. Too bad he to anyone, but couldn't it's do anything with it. Every time it does. Yeah, it is unfortunate and embarrassing. He just lost his concentration for a split second, and that's all it took. A three from Morris. 
And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Olenek got four rebounds in this game. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Hill dishes to Moore. He feeds it to Olenek. Morris against Moore. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And there's Ellis. That's there we go. And that's now 11 points for Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis getting it done. Wow. A plus on protecting the paint. Oh, yeah. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Kevin, I was able to hear the advice Frank Vogel gave to his team during that last break. He preached patient offense and encouraged his guys to use the shot clock. He wants his guys to be deliberate. So, Coach, waiting until the final thing to protect the pink directive is gone now. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. Thanks again, Doris. And more kicks to Olenek. More outside. Dishes it to Olenek. Phoenix grabs the miss. Come on, Olenek. To the paint. Here's the nice Knight. little baby and hook. You got to hit that. Once so as that one goes in. And that's 15 points for Brandon Knight. 153 left in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Knight. That's in. And the pace of the eight is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Chandler. You know, there's no better sign of how okay, efficient okay. the team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. For Indiana, they've gone for a Whoops. Court, shooting an even I mean for him to pass me the ball then. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Moore passes to Olenek. Moore against Chandler. Moore dishes to Olenek. Five to shoot. And Moore kicks to Lynn. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. And the Pacers lead by 12. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise. But the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Shoots a three. No good. And Indiana will come the other way. And game three of the NBA the Championship side. Series is Joy Crawford in the books. to retire immediately due to a knee issue. On an outstanding the effort and a long time NBA referee, NBA referee there. Clark, look at their number of assists. Well, they minimized the one on one situations, Kevin. They got the ball moving. Worked 3,000 games in 39 a seasons. Fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all around game it was. Four three. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of. Where the basket I think he was retiring right at the end of the year anyway, if I remember right. Lynn kicks Sounds ball. like this knee issue has forced him into an early retirement. Ellis on the wing. Back to Moore. Outside, Lynn. Indiana moving the ball around. Short. Back to Moore. Green by Ellis. More with it. Wrong Steph Curry team. three. This is there. <laughs> so no problem for Indiana as they get the win. Oh, I couldn't you resist. Have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. We gotta forget about and that now one. we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game.
I know Freak's going to have a lot of people back home in Harlem extremely proud of the way he played tonight. And they should be proud of him because his play was genius. Just a textbook example of how to gain a mental edge and continue to exploit it. He stepped up in a huge way tonight. You know, we all think of him as a role player, I, but not tonight. It's the NBA Finals, baby. He feel a sneeze star. to finish that sentence. There was and the we sneeze. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> tonight's game as much as we did, though. That. I think there's another one. It's kind of stirring there. <laughs> Yep, okay, good on boost. That's right, I bought a whole bunch yesterday. Wish it would just magically give me attribute upgrades. I was just seeing if, you know, I could find the schedule. I guess I could go back. See if we played Phoenix this year at some point. Uh, that doesn't look like recently. I see Philadelphia. Oh, there we go. There's one. Only won by eight there. So, yeah, we've had some close games in the past with them, or at least that one was close. That one was a lot closer than what the final score was. They're hanging around there, and they may, they may steal a game here, um, which is why, while normally I would push to see if I could beat them in four games, uh, just in case they went five and then we'd end up having to continue Monday, We'll just go ahead and on good positive win note here and we'll conclude things on Monday finish up uh, the series here with the Suns and then of course we'll get started on year four uh, see what the free agency market brings and then uh, yeah get into a few games as well so that'll be coming up on Monday um, Coming up this afternoon, plan right now is to be in Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, probably doing some more heroes versus villains. And probably some Walker Assault as well. I'll probably mix it up a little more. I know the last two Battlefront streams have primarily been heroes versus villains. Been trying to uh, play as the Hoth versions of Luke and Han, but haven't quite had that luck yet. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll mix it up a little more today. Probably do some Walker Assault in there as well. Maybe some Blast. Um, but uh, definitely doing some Heroes versus Villains. I, I, that's one of my favorite game modes in the game. And then I, I would say if I alternate between two, it'll be two, that and Walker Assault. But anyway, Star Wars Battlefront this afternoon before I keep on rambling here. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, this afternoon. And then Monday, next week, as far as I know... Should be a normal week. Um, I don't think I have anything going on that would interrupt that. Uh, if I'm missing something on my schedule, I'll let you know this afternoon. Or uh, if something pops up in the next couple of days, I will let you know, of course, as always, on Twitter. Uh, running down on those things, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and keep up to date on the stream, it's at 4 More Sports. Uh, you can also find a link below, whether you're watching this on Twitch or if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is youtube.com slash dsadeathandy589. It's where I upload all my streams, so if you want to go catch up, watch the past ones, see what else I have to offer, or if you want to... Um, 
uh, or if you uh, should say, if you ever have to miss a stream and you want to see what happens, then they're always uploaded there to my YouTube channel. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, feel free to hit that uh, subscribe button, give this video a good old thumbs up, and of course, if you'd like to help support the stream, the three big ways you can do so are to follow me here on Twitch and continue to come back and watch yourself. Uh, you can donate to the stream to help cover basic living costs, uh, buying games, upgrading equipment, basically keeping things running here, and you can also help out by uh, sharing the stream because, as I've always said, I'll never shake you down for money. You're always welcome to come watch the stream but if you'd like to help out and share it with friends family whoever uh, that would be much appreciated and a very big help as well uh, I think that covers everything there so again schedule wise coming up this afternoon it'll be Star Wars Battlefront and then that'll do it for uh, the week I'll take my usual Friday Saturday and Sunday off unless I decide to do a bonus stream over the weekend you never know um, but uh, right now, for sure, the next stream will be, uh, or the next NBA 2K16 stream will be on Monday, and we'll kick off a whole new week of streams then. So that's uh, what's coming up schedule-wise. I think that covers everything now. Therefore, until the next time you decide to tune in, I will see you at that point. And if I don't see you to next week, have a great weekend. Also, uh, just have a great day in general. Uh, and... Uh, I guess the best way to put it is, I'll see you when I see you. Take care, everybody.